Hey, Megan Ann here, and today I will be showing you how to use nail plates to make nail stickers for easier design application. Here's what you need. I use Simple Colors Why Not for my base nail color, Conad's black stamping nail polish, and a top coat. Just about any kind will do. You will also need a scraper and a nail stamper. Nail plates I'm using is Bundle Monsters 501 and 502 for this project, and to help color my designs, I'm using Essie's Fear or Desire and white nail polish. Acrylic paint will work too and I'm using dotting tools to help color in my designs, but toothpicks would work as well. Last, I will need some tweezers to help pick up my stickers. Now let's get started. First thing I do is find a plastic surface. I'm using sheet protectors, but I have used clear takeout lids before as well. You want it to be plastic, but not super thin because it can be difficult to work with. Then I take my top coat and put it on my plastic surface, making a shape roughly the size of my nail and I put down enough for each nail I plan on placing my stickers on. I let it dry and then I begin stamping onto the top coat. For this, I'm starting with the clownfish design from the 501 plate and then I'm moving on to the orca or the killer whale design from the 502 plate. Last, I will be using the angelfish from the same plate. Now I'll let them dry for a few minutes to make sure the designs don't smudge when I be co begin coloring them in. For the clownfish, I'll be using my orange nail polish to color in parts of the body along with some white paint as well to give it a unique look. Then I'll color the orca with white. Last I will color in the angelfish with white as well to really make them stand out. Once the paint is dried on my designs, I can begin getting them ready to place on my nails. First I'll use my tweezers to gently peel the designs off of my plastic surface. Then I, I use some scissors to trim the design down so it can fit my nail. Also you will want to trim it fairly close to the design so you can make sure it fits nicely, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Then place the design where you want it on your nail and put some pressure on it and smooth it over your nail. It should mostly stick onto your nail. Sometimes after you get the sticker on your nail after even you've trimmed, you can actually trim it a little bit more if you find that it is still touching your skin.
After you've applied all of your stickers, give it a nice top coat to seal in the design. The top coat sort of melts the old top coat away, so just be mindful of that. Don't overdo it with the top coat because it does get kind of mushy if you mess with it too much. And that's it, you have made your own nail stickers using nail plates. Like and subscribe for more nail art tutorials and reviews. Thank you for watching. Bye!